Hello folks and welcome back to Survival Challenge here on New Man's Land. Here we are, continuing from where we left off in the last episode where we've cleared this area here a little bit. And yeah, the trees up there, we ain't gonna clear all of them, just did them so we can get some money to recuperate off. So the little experiment we did with looking at some of the production chains I will be using for when we get the great vineyard name, because this plan the plan is gonna be this is hard area here that you see. It's going to be vineyards and it's going to extend all the way down here alongside what will be our cornfield. Because one thing we need for cereal production is corn. So, yeah, let's get the drone out. So, yeah, literally this area here, all of it. And I'm going to go down here as well with it. Not sure how far the train ain't too bad. I think, yeah, honestly, what I'll do will be up to 20, no, up to 42 at the end of the plot. Actually, do we even have 42? Yeah, we purchased 42 in the last episode, so. But yeah, also got the workers underway doing the mowing. They're just going to do that passively, and the bits that they can't do, we'll just do it ourselves, so. But yeah, now we've got these big logs to move, and. Actually, we'll get ourselves a bit more aligned in the middle, so... But yeah, these logs are mainly for our productions. Even though I know that we have... Well, that ain't gonna use all of it for production, so we're gonna sell a lot of them. And that is a very dense, so... Please tell me we still got a wheel loader. Yes, we have. That is good, because what I want to do is use that, so... Go to front loader tools. Go with the big bag and winch support. There we go. I think a Chandra yellow is better than a John Deere yellow. Don't know why I purchased that, but oh well. So yeah, we will drop the bucket. Now we don't really need. The only reason why we bought the bucket was for. Recovering the trailer when we decided to go the long way around. I would take it the short way around, but it's going to be the long way around. We have navigating this soup here because we got a full load in that. But yeah, the plan's going to be load it all up and then whack it win. Also, we've gone and purchased a brand new cultivator. I did allude to this in the last episode, and we've got the Tiger Mate 255. That is a 18 meter cultivator. It's not the biggest we can get, I know, on Maltub. You can get like the 24 meter of like flexi coil ones, but personally I think the flexi coils are very similar to the plow we've got, so I thought go something technically smaller, but just something different as well, so that'd be used to cultivate the two mega fields we've got at the southwest and the east of the map, so what was our sunflower and cotton fields and this little field over here, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this little field here I may do cotton on this field here because we still need a regular supply of cotton for our production, so yeah let's quickly head over and get these logs sorted, shall we? so with this over here, let's see if we can actually lift this, so I'll cut it down into three lengths, so they're about 12 to 40 meters long each and I'm hoping I've got everything because if I missed one thing then that's going to be interesting when it comes to picking it up and yeah hopefully we should have to reach as well so combine the weight of the com not the combine the wheel loader we have combined that with the extra three and a half ton we've got on the back it should be fine in theory Okay, there's some life missed, so what I'm gonna do is just take it out. I knew this was gonna happen, so yeah, let's go and cut these down. There we go, that's one. It's gonna be a little bit of lag, but shouldn't really have too many lag spikes. And yeah, that was cut actually. Actually, just what? Boop! With you. You actually cut that twice. Actually, take three times. 
once at the right thing, and the other two times by accident, so... There we go, just got to load up. I want to see the limit. So the limit, I'll say, is five logs. And in fairness, these are like super dense big logs, I think, like the ones we've cut up. Especially the ones on the left are the more chunkier ones, so... And I'm hoping we can still have lengths of, like, two lengths of it. Oof, okay, so it's glitching, it's lagging. Please don't break, I think. Next time we'll stick to just four logs. Ah, uh, I don't think... Nah, I think, in fairness, I should have cut them in twos, actually. But, oh well. There we go. So yeah, this is going to take a few trips, I think, to get us all sorted, so yeah. I think the best way to get this done is a little short time lapse, so yeah. Let's get all this done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done. And hopefully at the point where we send the work, because I doubt most of this will go into the production chains, just because of how big they are. with the last load we've got here and yeah we're gonna have none left over whatsoever so that is 99,000 years now in swimming and that is actually just enough to almost fill it up so with all our other productions filled up we just had the perfect amount of logs for everything so that wasn't too bad so it was a bit hectic with that first load where I overfilled it and Literally instantly, as soon as I turned, boop, they fell over. But cutting that one log seemed to have helped. And actually, how the workers doing on our grass? Apparently, not too bad at the moment. Fair to say, they are on the easier stuff, or at least the worker down here is. So, yeah, workers doing alright. Yeah, it's going to miss that bit there because of the trees and that. You know what? That I'm fine with. But yeah, once it starts like split up into these sections down here, that is when I think the worker's going to have some struggles. And we'll get all this grass picked up today. But obviously, at the moment, we're in no rush to have grass. So, so we have a look at our productions. Go down here. We've got our grass dryer, which I forgot to put on, so now we just turn that on. That's going to get us some hay. That's going to consume that within the month. And yeah, not too worried about the silage because that's going to get sent over. 
Yeah, I'm not sure what to leave that on. Manure is good. Actually, we'll turn manure off. And actually, we'll store the methane because I may buy some stones and that, you know, get the gold production back underway. Yeah, there's something I'm not too fussed about. But yeah, what I'm on about is if you head down here, we got 5 million years of TMR. So at the moment, we're good. We're good. We've almost got a million years of silage again. Yeah, we're making silage, so that is from the grass and the hay, so I think if we put the grass in here, how much grass we've got left over, still 400,000 a year, so this year we're going to do is put the grass in here, get that converted into silage and hay respectively. Actually, we may stop that for the time being because... We do need hay now. I'd rather build up the hay. Then if we need to get silage, then we can just turn that on. Oh, actually use all the straw, but we've still got more straw about, so. But if we get silage, we can get silage and digestate, so. Because wait a minute, that's 3,000 to 3,000, 240 times a month. So that is exactly the same, so. We can still get silage and we have digestate as well. Actually, no, we won't do that. But yeah, I think for now, what we do is just get the grass, put it in, and just let it convert to silage and that. I'm not going to go with the bunker silage system again. No, I don't think we will. But we'll hop into our case, and actually, that needs a service badly because. Yeah, that is almost completely worn out. Ferris is like an 800 horsepower engine, so it does make sense to only service after a while. And how much? 28 grand to service it. Oh, you know what? Screw it. We've got the money. I think what am I complaining about spending 28 grand? If it was like by Spring or Court Farm, then yeah, 28 grand to service this. That'd be very eye watering, but 28 grand for us at the moment is just, yeah, just a bit of change in that. You know, just a minor expense, so. But yeah, that sort of brings on to the point of, yeah, we're at the point now where literally we can have anything we want, literally any equipment, absolutely anything. Because, yeah, in the way that. It's, the whole series, I think, like up to episode 15, 20. I'll say it's scaled right if you compare it to what I'm comparing to at least is like Chainsaw and Dagwin's Let's Play series. Like, they're like collab with the multiplayer series. And yeah, I think now we're at the point where it's just gone over to like that production facility. Even though it took us a while to get to where it is now, it did take a lot of time, but it's given us too much money out of it, in fairness. So yeah, as I said in the last episode, I am going to do another survival challenge series. At least one, I may do two involving with a collaboration with another content creator. But that's going to maybe in the works, like, with me personally at the moment, need to get my work situation sorted with starting a new job, going back into the care sector now, working as a care assistant after spending what, yeah, again, 2024 now, so literally just over two years outside the care sector, after I got, again, like, four out of my job role as a care assistant whilst I was running for COVID, ain't going to go into the reasons of that, because, yeah, there's no need to. But the TLDR is, got a new job now, doing my training at the moment, and yeah, it's steady work, it's three nights a week and that, so not too bad, 12 hour shifts, works outside for me personally with my motorcycle club, so I can steal what I do expected for the club and that, as a prospect and that at the moment, so as a, pers a prospective member of the club, technically. But yeah, so, the new jobs going to work out well. Ain't going to change the content that I'm doing at the moment, I think. 
once I get my sleep schedule correct and that, the day you upload is still going to continue because obviously regardless, well, I should not regard this, in consideration of last episode which took me 8 hours to do, yeah, they're currently out of over 41 minutes because I had to edit the last episode and that before starting this one. In order to get out tomorrow, which is Friday. Maybe Friday, maybe Saturday, it depends on if I get a couple of by spring episodes recorded before the weekend. But yeah, babbling on here. What I mean is, ain't gonna change content. Still gonna do daily uploads. That's for sure. And I yeah, know like last week or two has been a bit sparse in that, just with IRL stuff. And yeah, just other things in that, just bit, what's say under the weather, I think more mentally under the weather and that, but yeah, you get one of those things, you know, sometimes where you get a bit down in the dumps and that, sort of, just can't be bothered to do fuck all for a week or two. That was pretty much me last week, but better now, more upbeat in that, with this new job and that. Just give me a spring myself after spending, what, four, three, four months without work, decent work in that, so... But yeah, enough of IRL sh rubbish and that, so... But yeah, with it involving the new, survive, the new survival challenge series, the one I'm going to do on my own is... Uh, I'm still picking out on the maps at the moment, looking at a few maps like the ones that recently came out today, with, was it, not Maple Farm? Uh, was it? I'm trying to think... Uh, Mason County, sorry. The four fields of your fielding by Omatona. Tempted to do that, but the problem is, it's quite. Even though it's modern now, you get like, the German version of it, which is the Vierfelden. Or Vierfelden. Not sure what my German is on that correctly, but the problem with that is, there's four huge fields surrounded by production chains and everything else. But makes him count my poor boy modding. I know he said it's going to be his ass map, which, in a way, I get where he's coming from because this that map's got everything. And I mean, everything in it, like making your cars, all different productions, custom productions, and I think he said themselves. I'm not sure if it's in the bio of the map, but certainly in some Facebook posts I've seen by him, where it's everything he's pretty much developed in that from his other maps like Crater Lake, Black Mountain County and that, like all those maps he's used things he's learnt from now from those. And obviously with help of other creators not creators, um other modders and that he's got a lot of it in. And yeah, it's absolutely beautiful in and I think from a survival aspect of it, like a I want to go with a, a vintage esque of it, like you know, I'm looking at all like, the PDA and that, like huge forestry areas, decent sized plots of that to start off with. I fancy that the prices of the fields, but it's built if the. Man, I'm struggling from what words today. If the field prices are decent enough and not over the top, I don't mean like no matter how where each plot is 85 grand. As long as it's like 300 grand for a medium field, like like this field here, like this cost is like 200 grand. Ouch. But if it's fair, if it's reasonable, then yeah, that'll be a definite series on it. Because yeah, I'm looking for like more towards like either like more of a forestry based or like Eastern European or Old German vibe. That's what I'm looking at personally, but that's just me. But yeah, that ain't gonna be until after Christmas. I'm planning on wrapping this series up by the end of the year, so I've got over a month. Yeah, I've got about a month left of the series. And I'm gonna do a lot more episodes. We've got the grapes too. I think we've got at least another. Uh, I've had to guess. 10 episodes or so left. We're on episode 51 now, is this? After forgetting what episode we were on in the last episode, but. Hey, I wasn't off. Like I said, like episode 47, 48. Because I just watched Dagwin's latest episode in that, which is episode 48, so. 
So I'm still, still held daggering at least. <laughs> That's one thing. But yes, anyways, I've waffed on long enough now. We've almost done this field here. In the time I've waffled, and we've got the mega field to do over there. And we've got that field over there, so... My thinking is, we're going to need more help, so... Let's go to our own tools. Get rid of those. And we go to... Cultivators. Go all the way to the end. There we go. Sure, let's go with that. Seems to be good enough. So yeah, number two. We'll buy that. And where's that two? Actually, how the workers doing? Good. You're stuck. Why are you stuck? You're literally blocked by that and you... Ugh. That's the problem with workers. It's... Little things like that. Go on, off you go. Anyways, as I was on about before getting sidetracked, so not that one. I am going to cheat and reset to shop, so... Tab in the through. There we go. So yeah, we'll get this one on what's going to be our cornfield over there, which was our sunflower field. We'll get this on that. And it's going to have no issues soon there. We don't need service or anything. Do we have a spot of fuel? Sure, why not? Yeah, we're filling up. So yeah, let's get all this done. It ain't going to take us too long, I think. If I had to guess, it's going to take us at least half an hour to an hour, I'll say. Let's say 45 minutes is going to take, so yeah. I'll get all this done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once I'm done here.
And there we go, that is us done. So if we have a look here, that is all of the grass modes. Pretty much, a strip up there, I think. Yep, we'll take care of that. Workers are managing all right. What are you doing? Why do you go over there? You meant to be doing this bit over here. Oh, God. I know that tree there is going to cause a huge issue for some of them, so... Let's go and grab that. Fair enough, we've had this around for a while. Fair enough, should we process it or sell it, whatever, but... Uh, well, so tab around, because I can't be bothered. So yeah, we need to get over here. I know the worker's going to have some issues with this lumpy and bumpy section with... I think maybe a stump still there, but... I think it's more so because of it just being so lumpy and bumpy. Because, yeah, if I get the worker going on this now... Yeah, see, one stump there we could do with removing, but... I think once we get over that, get the worker off again. There we go, the worker's on the way, so... See, I wasn't too hard, but no, the worker has to make it... Absolutely difficult for us. Which ain't surprising, in fairness, but... See, so yeah, we've also returned the other two mowers. There we go. Enable fast farming. We're just a quick... Quickly fold it and unfold it. So rather than doing that 14, 15 miles an hour, we can now mow... At 26 miles an hour. Even though we are super low on fuel. That's going to be an issue. Can I quickly get this section here done before then? I'm hoping I can. Oh, once we go over that, it's not going to help too much. We have getting the moment done, but... Yeah, I think besides from that little bit there, it has not been too bad. And uh, we'll get this picked up in the next episode or so. Again, no new rush for it. I want to get it picked up now since we're getting towards the end of the farm season here for the grass. I think it'll be another three months or so before we can grow it again. So we're looking at April time we start mowing again. April. Maybe even to make an extra second growth state. And I think that can get about a 48% yield bonus and a swell by then. We've got plenty of TMR, so we don't need to worry about that. But we just need to get grass picked up now and convert it to silage at the very least. Stockpile it up. We've got plenty of straw, so even we can just do a silage and hay mixture. That is fine by us. We also need hay for the sheep. We really don't consume too much hay, I don't think. It's always good to have a little stockpile up, because you never know. You will never know if you need it at some point. There we go. That's uh, actually done. Just get rid of that little branch there, so yeah. Bear me a sec, whilst I quickly get this topped up. Not topped up, what I'm talking about. Get in this quickly mode, and then... Actually, I think... If I leave all the work on it, it should be fine to do the rest of it. So I want to get some rocks. Get these rocks in. Yeah, so I want to top up the gold production again, so... That's... I was going to do a cheeky reset. So that's there. Where is the other trader? Is that the one I'm looking for? No. Not the TARDIS. We could use that one, but... Ah, that's that store with the barley in that we bought. So, you know what? Screw it. We'll do that. Yeah, because that's got full of barley in that we bought a huge pallet of Or pallets. Or not similar. Oh, there we go. Just get that hooked up. Actually, we can get rid of this tree. We'll get another tree that's decent. Because, actually, what is the capacity of this one here? So, go to traders. 
Uh, having a look. Fruit seven and a half hours a litre, so yeah. Do something at least 50. So there we go, we'll sell that. So yeah, go up here to the dealership under traders. And I'll actually see what mods I've got so that we can use. 41,000 years for that. I know we tend to go with unrealistic capacity, but want something just normal capacity, in a way at least, or at least try to. That's all forage stuff, so it's either another one of those. I think let's go something a bit different. Go with the crampy big body. 47 and a half grand, not too bad. Sure, I'll go with a rhino. Black chassis. We'll keep the red. And go black on the rims. Worn stripes, sure. What tires? Should I go with Rarsteins? Or BKTs? Think go with Rarsteins. Yeah, get some big old flotation tires on that. Yeah, even that, 52 grand. For a tree that holds 41,000 years, that's an absolute banging of a deal. So obviously I think the stone, well, the gold production holds 120,000 years, so it's only going to be three loads that this requires, but it's not really cheating because it's part of the map, it's what the map provides, so by that logic it is perfectly fine to use. So yeah, we'll go and fill this up and then we'll get it sent over. So 41,000 euros costs us 20 and a half grand, so yeah, 500 quid per thousand liters. That ain't too bad, especially all things considering how much we're going to get just from the goals from it, so yeah, I think overall it was worth it. And actually, whilst we're over here, I'll check the biogas plant again, because I want to make sure I'm not overfilled with digestate. Yeah, I think the last time it was, that's how like me was sold like 3 million years worth. So there we go, rocks are going in. And we're making more gold. And for these, I will store them. Yeah, having a look at our digest day. It's getting close to that mark, so. May need to sell some more, so. Sort that out, and actually, if I look at, I think it'd be under animals. Like, what are like some of these capacities? Like two hundred thousand liters. Is there anything I can hold? Like you know, like a million liters. A million liters off just liquid. So, if I was to guess, maybe this one. So, water loading, log forks, liquid tanks. Nope. 750,000 years, a million years, so that's what we want. So, easy to convert one of our traders there. Got some more cakes spawning. Uh, yeah, with cakes, we're going to store those and sell those. And actually, within the next month or two, actually, think about it. Yeah, maybe we could also do our next episode with selling the digestate. You know, just get that trade converted, because... Yeah, let's have a look at some of these prices. So, if we go down here, we look at cakes and all that. So, cakes... It's actually January, so fair enough. That's fine, can wait a little bit longer. But the digestate, again, January, you can get about... At least 1200 at the moment. Yeah, wait till January. We'll make a bank load of that. Gold. Yeah, February we'll sell our first bunch. February or March. Yes, yeah, still we're going to get a lot of money for that, so. Let's go fill this up again. Yeah, it's going to take about three loads. Turn the other 
away. There we go. And yeah, how is our workers doing? Yeah, almost done. I should do so, so. Patch there, patch there. So yeah, let's do a one more quick time lapse, get everything done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done. And yeah, that's where I think we'll wrap it up for today. And with all that sorted, now it's just time to sort a little bit, it's like, at the moment it's the best time to sell eggs, so we've got a bunch of eggs here, and yeah, I need to start emptying these a lot more regularly, because, yeah, for one with it, the pandemic again, no surprises there. Actually, one thing we can actually do is move the wall over, so we'll deal with that in, I don't know what heck it We'll deal with it now. What's I'm here is yeah, it's gonna annoy me otherwise. Because yeah, we need to get these eggs loaded and yeah, we'll sell them. We don't need any white away before our production chains. We're producing so much eggs that our productions can't really keep up with how much we're producing. Don't get me wrong, things like uses pancake facility can hold a ton of eggs. But it doesn't re consume it at a particularly fast rate, so yeah, so yeah, I can leave it for now. It's got plenty enough, anyways, for at least six months, I think. If that's my checked. Yeah, because in that episode, I did sort of top some things up off camera. Yeah, I think that's I think I'll try to do a bit more often. It's like some of the usual stuff I do behind camera, like transferring stuff, like we need to move these pallets. Obviously, either we sell them or put them in storage. At the moment, we're selling these. But we've got all to go over as well. I mean, that's the main ones at the moment. The other ones are just like miscellaneous stuff, so you're yeah, not particularly in the rush of that. And also, we've got the log trader convert back over to a tanker, so now that can hold a million liters. Yeah, because I did, yeah, I thought we saw a million years like this year, a couple of episodes ago, so. I we're producing a ton of digestive more than I actually thought we were. Maybe that's because obviously since then I've been sent the size to distribute, so. For about 50 minutes or so, 50, 52 minutes, 55 minutes out of 60 is filled, and it has got some size in there, so. Apart from that little five minutes of where it ain't consuming anything, because it's just based on how much gets transferred over, so. But, uh, yeah, so that's cracking on right. Attempt to set the farm factory to produce silage, but, well, digesting from making silage, but. Yeah, I don't think there's any real point of it, actually. Hey, mates, I'm gonna quickly jump cut this, get this all loaded up. And then we'll go and sell these. What was I? I thought, heck it, let's go and get the wall loaded up. So, there we go. 
Smackdown level one. Like so. There we go. No, 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 no. Do not stay still. Forget who's strapped on. So let's have a look how much we got. So we got 40,000 litres of eggs. As well as 15,000 litres of wool. That's going to go into the farm factory. That is literally almost out of the wall, so we need to get that sorted. But yeah, so first of all, we need to sell the eggs at the market stall. Yeah, I'll try to remember the market stall. I think it's over here behind these trees, right? Yeah, it's not over there. But yeah, I'll put it somewhere, which is like, in the way it's out of the way, also at the same time at 8. I don't know what keeps that popping up when I have stuff in the bag says all loads this up or whatever, but yeah, so there we go. Here is the egg cell point, so we're at 2.645 mil. Let's see how much we get afterwards. There we go. Sorry to sell. Go. It's going to be a little bit of time to get all the salt. There we go. Let's get the rest of the eggs into the trigger. There we go. Have I gone too far over? Maybe. But yeah, look at that money. I'm shooting up already. Over a hundred grand. Nope. Didn't want that pad to fall. So that is 125 grand. And how much over we get from these? Oh, no, no. Ah, I forgot about the ball. Oh, I forgot about the ball. Oh, fuck's sake. Apologies for language there, but. Oh, great. We'll, we'll pick these up. You mind? It's almost trying to record an episode here. Selfless pilots, but yeah. I forgot about the ball there for the moment. Uh, I was only at one, one possible outcome re resistantly, so. But anywho, I guess we're we'll still the ball in. We'll pick up the other 4,000 litres. There we go. Boom. So yeah, now if we have a look here. Scroll down. Yeah, so this year is almost out of the way anyway, so... Cotton is still topped up in that because... How much cotton we've got left? 4,000... Basically 10,000 litres left, so... Not too bad. And on that note, that's where I think we'll leave it today. So yeah, next time, pretty much sell the digestate, sell Yosis pancakes and donuts. And also, we will start selling the digestate as we're loading this up. We're already at 400,000 litres and yeah, we're not even at 50% yet, so ooh, this is going to take some time to fill up. But, anyways, that's where I'm going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to click down below. If you want to share with them, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, very cheers to do. Hope you had a nice day. But for now, it's me, Farmer, Envoy Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.